Hi, in this video, we will learn how to install PyCharm in your Windows machine. So for that, go to your favorite browser and simply type PyCharm. Hit enter. You probably see the first link from the jetprince.com. Hit on that. We can see here a download button. Click on that. PyCharm is available for Windows, Mac and Linux operating system and in two variants. First is your professional and second is your community. If you want to do some scientific and web Python development, uh, for example, Django, you can download professional version. And if you just want to hand on Python, so just for pure Python development, download the community. And obviously professional is the paid one and community version is free. And also mentioned here, open source. So let's download community version in this video. Hit download. The download will start shortly. All right. Our download is complete. So let's go to show in folder. We can see we get Python community 2020.2.3 version. This is the latest version at the point of recording this video. So now let's start installing this. Simply right click on this setup and run as administrator. Click yes. Welcome to Python Community Edition Setup. So let's click on Next. And this will be the default location of your PyCharm. Space required is 7.6.4 MB. All right, let's click Next. And uh, you can select whatever installation option you want. Like uh, if you need a desktop icon, you can tick this and click Next. Okay, choose Start menu folder, let it be the default JetBrains and hit install. So we can see it instantly created a desktop icon. It is a 64-bit launcher. Completing PyCharm Community Edition Setup. So our PyCharm is installed. We can directly click this checkbox and uh, on hitting finish, it will automatically start my PyCharm. So let's go this way, hit finish. All right, I can see this option in port PyCharm settings. You might not because uh, this machine already have PyCharm somewhere in the history. So it is asking me, do I want to import the old settings? So I just uh, select do not import settings, click OK and yes, we can select theme from here. This is a uh, dark color for the dark theme and light for the light theme. So let's go with the dark color. Click next. Okay, we can download plugins from here. If you no vim you can install idea vim and if you want to do things on r you can install r here and similarly for aws toolkit i don't want any of them for now just click start using pycharm yes this is our first window we can get our project from the github from get from version control or we can open our already exist Python project or we can simply create a new Python project. So let's click on new project. This will ask me for the location. Let's change this project location to my desktop. Okay. Now I have two options for choosing the Python interpreter. What I can do, I can create a new virtual environment and start 
creating my project in that uh, virtual environment or i can just click on existing interpreter what's the major difference is if this machine has 3.8 python installed already so this project will simply work on the 3.8 version but somewhere in the future i got the new update from the python and install 3.9 my existing project will affect this is what many developers never prefer so it's the best choice to create a virtual environment for your project this is the location and this is the base interpreter of my python by default this machine has python 3.8 and uh, it's a prerequisite also for pycharm you have python in your machine if you don't see this and you don't have python already installed in your machine do refer to this banner i have taught you how to install python in your windows machine so yes we are going for virtual environment this is the location this is the interpreter hit create click create from existing source now this is the first interface of your uh, pycharm and creating virtual environment yes we can see our project main here let's maximize this window this is my interface of what my project will look like so let's close main.py for now and create a new python file new python file let's name our python file to test and it will automatically give its extension to .py obviously we are creating a python file and here i will write my python code let's write print hello what now for running my python project i have uh basically four options for running this project what i can do i can simply right click on the white space and uh, hit run test this will run my python program and we got the output hello dot world or what can i do let's close it for now i can simply right click on test dot py here and uh, run run test from here only again i got the output let's close it again or what can i do i can click this play button here this is the run button actually and yes i got the output or if you love shortcut keyboard shortcuts so hit control shift f10 for running your file so most of the time i prefer the hot keys so i generally go with the control shift f10 so yes this is your first look and hand on to pycharm do subscribe to my channel